Hey everybody, okay cool, so in this one we are going to be talking about how to sync changes down from Smart Connect um, So continuing with syncing changes to and from Smart Connect in that Connect Advanced Options menu So let's get to it Okay, so just in the last video we sent the changes that we made to our constellation area up to the server now we are going to do the same process from down the server now this is uh, the the context of this was if you have a second computer someone has made changes on their conservation area sent it to smart connect and given you the information and said listen uh, the database has been updated so i go to connect advanced options and i download changes from connect so i type in my password and what this now is going to do is it's going to go look at the conservation area on the server itself and see if there's any um, new changes that have been made there. And it's going to look at that and bring in those different uh, changes. So now our local database has been up to, up, updated and there's nothing new to apply. So I can click OK. If there was something, you would see it come in. You would see. Uh, if there was an error, what that error was. Now, just to help you in this whole process as well, it's so much easier to just go to connect and sync all changes to and from connect. This will then do, go through the process of sending changes up first or downloading changes first and then uploading the full amount. So you'll see here, it's gonna download first. So whatever changes are on the server, um, and it's going to apply whatever changes were created. So you will always get this this message to say what the progress was, if there were errors, etc. So that's the easiest way to do it is to go to connect and sync all changes. In this configuration side of things here, you can then change this automatic sync options so that when you are closing um, the the program on the desktop, that will prompt you to send changes to and from the server or start up prompt you to uh, do the changes when you log in to smart desktop i would recommend you actually edit this and turn these on and so i'm going to just do that turn them on um, because you always want to make sure that your local database is up to date as possible obviously this is assuming that you do have connectivity so i'm going to click click those two on and click save and click close and as you'll see here is when I click close it will then ask me to sync all changes and I can say yes to then be able to do that cool hope that helps